A portion of this video is an ad for Fidelity. We have made it to one of the best times of the year. I'm so excited to share this video with you guys because this is one of my annual videos where I get in the Christmas mood. But before we get into all that fun stuff, I do want to say that this portion of the video is sponsored by Fidelity. Fidelity can help you feel more confident in handling your money and can teach you that your money has the potential to grow no matter where you start in your financial journey. They can relate to your challenges and have the experience to help you navigate through these challenges and reach your goals. They can also help you improve your money habits with engaging digital tools and digestible financial resources, which makes everything a lot easier. Not only that, but they also offer simple and actionable strategies for your various financial needs. Some other things that I find really helpful about Fidelity is that they can help offer some simple and quick tips on budgeting, goal tracking, and investing from Fidelity's learning centers. I think this is super cool and great to learn about, especially as someone that is navigating their adult life. Who doesn't need a little bit of help with all these things? Fidelity provides a range of strategies for all levels of financial literacy all on their mobile app. You can also find out what the news means for your money with Fidelity's Smart Money newsletter that's delivered to your inbox every week. There is also no account minimums and no account fees. Learn more with Fidelity with the link in my description. And thank you again to Fidelity for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's resume into making Christmas breakfast. By the way, if you guys were wondering, my pajamas are from Levion Rose. I've gotten so many questions on it since I filmed in this for my Christmas wish list video, but they are so soft. <laughs> snowfall of the season and all hell broke loose in Vancouver. I am not joking. I swear everybody was in traffic. Nobody had their right winter tires. My boyfriend took like three hours to get home when it should have taken him one. Like it was hectic, but I think that was mother nature telling us that Christmas has officially commenced. Things are going to look a little bit different now because I'm living alone. I have my own apartment and that means getting my own Christmas tree, which we're going to do in this video. This year, I'm actually inviting my whole family to come sleep over on Christmas Eve. So we all wake up and we're going to do the whole tree present situation here here, which means this apartment has to have the holiday spirit and the whole vibe to it, which I'm so excited for. Hopefully it snows again tomorrow. I'm pretty sure the forecast for this whole week is supposed to snow like every single day. So I feel like that's going to add to the vibe. If you haven't subscribed to me already, make sure you do. I will be posting so much during the month of December. My sweater is from Beginning Boutique. These jeans are from Urban Outfitters. My mom's actually waiting for me downstairs. So we need to go in the car, get a little warm drink and begin the Christmas spirit. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, I'm in the car with my mom. Hi. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Montpitou. It's a coffee shop Mom that apparently it's all Christmas and like holiday themed. We can go there and then after that, I think we're gonna go to Canadian Tire or any other Christmas stores. Home Sense. I like Home Sense. We go to Home Sense. <laughs> I think they also have Bed Bath and Beyond. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be good. Or there's a store in Yale Town called Cross, which is like Christmas decorations, but it's really expensive there. But we can check it out just because yeah. it's cool. It's yeah. nice. It's actually just fun to walk around and look at it. It's kind of like Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, it's expensive. There's actually no snow on the roads right now, so it's a lot better. Feel safe driving. Do you feel safe with me driving? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, no, no, I feel safe. You're a good driver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, here we go.
delicious. That hot chocolate and the croissant was like the best that I've ever had, but we're gonna go to some stores now. I actually already got my Christmas tree, but it's at home. We're gonna build it tonight, and it's a green frosted tree, which I'm really excited about. I've never had a green frosted tree before, but now we have to look for ornaments and like whatever's gonna go on top of the tree. I'm thinking the theme is gonna be like pink, white, winter wonderland. We're gonna look through all the ornaments and see what I end up picking, and if there's any other decorations for my home, getting it. I like these like white silver ones. Comment down below if you're a family or you do that like Christmas village thing. I'll put some pictures of what I'm talking about. I've always seen other families do this. We've never done this before, but we're gonna make it a tradition this year. She got one too. And every year we're gonna get a new addition to the town. So I'm gonna buy her one, she's gonna buy me one. This is our first one. It's a little animated church village. It's got little choir kids, it's so cute. These are the other ones they have. They have a Christmas village toy shop. They have a happy camper, the farmer's market. They have a donut shop, a popcorn factory. I'm gonna buy it. Accessories. Aww, I feel like this is a necessity. I'm gonna be setting up the tree in these. I have never done the elf on the shelf tradition, and this year we're gonna bring it on. I'm gonna keep this till I'm 30 and give it to my kids, okay? Look how cute. Tell me this isn't the cutest thing ever. Like, I'm gonna hide it, and every time my boyfriend comes over, it's gonna be in a new spot, and I'm gonna tell him he has to find it. I think we have everything. I think my mom's the most dangerous person to shop with because <laughs> she thinks everything is cute and that I should get everything. I'm getting so tired. There's so many things to look through, and I actually want everything. So that's the problem. Just about 7.30 and I am getting so hungry. Me and my mom are gonna go to this restaurant called Global. It's over there. I've actually never been, but it's supposed to be like a really nice big restaurant here in Vancouver. And they also have their Christmas Winter Wonderland patio, which I felt like was the perfect place for this video. So I'm really excited. We're gonna have dinner there, maybe get some fun drinks. Look at all their drinks that they have. They have gingerbread, eggnog, jingle juice, brandy Alexander, I don't know what that is, and mealed wine. These all look really good. I got my gingerbread eggnog. This is kind of like dessert, so I don't really know why I got it for my dinner, but anyways. She got the mealed wine. Time to try mine, the little gingerbread. I'll have a bite of this in a second. That's really good. <laughs> How good does this look? We got the mushroom risotto. I think this is pasta. And then we got the kale salad. Okay guys, I'm back home. I have boxes and boxes and boxes of Christmas decor and stuff. I will say, I did buy a lot of things, but my, what's the word? My excuse is that this is the Christmas decorations and stuff that I'm gonna have for like my whole entire life. Like I can use this every single year until I'm actually 30. And you know when I'm older, I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, this is the first Christmas decorations I got when I was younger. I'm just starting the traditions. You know, maybe a little bit early, but we're gonna have it forever. So I think it's perfect. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. <laughs> I know Christmas is more red and green, but it's just, it's not really my vibe. I would rather have it more like frosty winterland snowman vibes. So I did all my decor basically like silver, sparkly. This is the first thing I got. I thought this was a cool like centerpiece. Looks very fun. It's just a big snowflake. We love to hear it. I got a mistletoe. I feel like I could just get a cute photo in this. I got two of these reindeers. I think these are so cute. And I want to put these like one on each side of like a cabinet that I have, probably the one over there. I think they look so cute and they've got like silver on the top. So I'm obsessed. 
obsessed. I got this white lantern with snowflakes on it and then these little tea light lanterns that I can put inside of here and like anywhere. And this is actually such a good investment because I had actual tea light candles and I would just go through them and like leave them on. And this is just a lot better and a lot safer. I don't really know what the point of this one was, but I think this goes behind a door. And then the last thing here was this little like nativity scene, animated village church. We used to have like actual nativity scenes when I was in my family home, but this one has like the whole scene and I think it's like a little village. So you saw me talk about these. This, I just felt like had to happen. They're these little Santa shoes and hat. We got the elf on the shelf, little fairy lights. I like don't even know what to open next. My mom convinced me to get this wreath, even though I can't put it on the outside of my door, but I think I'm gonna hang it up on a wall, which I think would still look really cute. I then got this wooden Christmas tree, which I think is gonna go on my dining room table or my bedside table for my bedroom. And then this, I'm so excited for. I used to have one of these when I was younger and it was actually something that I was so excited to do. Look how cute. You like switch it depending on the day. So adorable. This is gonna be a part of my morning routine and I'm gonna have to do it every single day. Then I got this. This is a little jar. I think you can put some tea light candles in here as well. And I'm probably just gonna have this on the floor under my TV. And then I have this candle. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like pine trees. And then we have the actual tree ornaments. This took me such a long time to find because we were like walking up and down the aisles, not being able to pick what we wanted. This is me and my mom, by the way. But we ended up going with this like silver vibe. I got only one of these. I hope, honestly, I bought enough with a bunch of silver ornaments. And then I got two of these, which are super cute. They're like crystallized. I think they're super aesthetic and they just look like little snowballs. And the tree actually already comes pre-lit. So I think that's gonna be super helpful. This is the star that I'm using at the top of the tree. It's a little bit different. It kind of looks like a snowflake more than a star, but I think it's really cool and unique. I kind of wish it lit up. It doesn't light up, but whatever. And then, oh my God, these are crazy. Okay, I got five of these individual ones. These ones are like pearls. You can kind of see here what they look like, but they are just so unique and special. And then my mom convinced me to get this one. She just thought that it was very cute and I couldn't disagree. Tell me this isn't the cutest thing ever. Like it's just a little fluff. So I got another five of those. I think this tree is gonna look super cool. The rest of this haul is from Home sense. Starting off with these two wrapping papers. I think I'm going to give one to my mom and like one to me because like since my family is going to come here for Christmas, then my wrapping paper under the tree will only be these two prints. And we've got like this Christmas tree one and a pink one, which I think will look super cute in my apartment. I think she got these for her. They're little name tags. I got these star holders. They're for like your napkins. So when I have like dinners here, I can like put these around them. And then I got this Christmas mug. It says peace and joy. I think I want to film a like winter morning routine or something. So this is definitely going to be in there. The last thing I got was this table runner and it's just got like snowflakes on it and it'll basically go across my table. And yeah, I think it's going to look super cute. We love. That was basically every single thing that I got. It's just going to be me and my mom building this Christmas tree, which usually my dad helps us with. So like, I hope that we can do it on our own, but I think it'll be fine. We're definitely going to play some Christmas music on at the same time though. Christmas playlist. <laughs> This is what my tree is looking like. My tree is from Canadian Tire. It's actually seven feet. To be honest, I don't know how tall my ceiling is. So this might be... Seven feet. Is it seven feet? Yeah, Jacob's six feet and he doesn't reach the top. So I think that we have a little bit of space. But anyways. I've never had a flocked tree before, so this is pretty exciting. We usually had like real trees, which is amazing because you could like smell the pine, but this year we're just doing candles. So that'll be a pine. <gasps> what about the Grinch tree? <gasps> what is it? I don't know, did we buy it? There was a Grinch tree that we had and I don't think I opened it in there, so I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna have to go back and get it. It was super cute and I think I need it. For
she's so cute. How does it look? It's a little bit bare right now, but once we get all the decorations on top, it's gonna look really good. I'm in Mrs. Claus Santa mode, so I have to wear the shoes. And they even make noise. Yay! <laughs> These are a size large, extra large. <laughs> they look like Santa. I think the only thing that it's missing is maybe like some pink ribbon or the fact that the star is not shiny so it kind of blends in with the background white. I don't even think you can see on this camera but yeah we might get some lights up there. Other than that I think it looks really good. I'm obsessed. I love it. See you can see the stars up there but it's actually really hard to see. So if you don't know what this is, which I feel like everyone should know what it is, but if you don't know what it is, when you're walking under it, you're supposed to kiss. <laughs> so, yeah. Be careful. You have to go like this and walk around if you don't want to kiss them. Esto se llama ponche y es una bebida tradicional de México en la Navidad. Generalmente tiene canela, habiscos, peras, manzanas, naranjas, guayaba, ciruelas, tamarindo, y slices de naranja, y tu casa huele riquísimo. También tiene pasitas, esto se da a la gente en las posadas, o cuando viene nadie a visitarte o en tu casa nada más. Y si quieres ponerle tantito ron o brandy, sabe mejor. <laughs> This is the first year. That we are alone The kids have all flown out I've got a thought, dear Been planning on my own So what would you think about Us making a clean getaway 